there's this misconception about marketers yeah. Yeah. and real estate professionals, especially the female. Yeah. They just felt you have a target, so you might yeah. do anything just to win a client. To win a client. This is beautiful. I love the Thank view you. here. It's very relaxing. Very. I'm feeling sleepy already. <laughs> <laughs> For Ackland, it's not just about money. It's about meeting needs, mm. helping individuals make the right decisions and making the right investments mm. opportunities. First of all, you're buying in the city of Eco Atlantic. It's a free trade zone. Mm -hmm. You are not taxed on your property mm -hmm. in the city. Right, well, it looks beautiful though. I like that white touch of the room. Yeah. I'm a white guy. I always wear white t-shirts. <laughs> I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> There's fire outside your apartment. Yeah. For the next two hours, your apartment is secured from every kind of fire. These are the type of blocks that we use here. These are the highest grades on blocks. This is grade 45, the best in town. It's like white because it's more cement okay. than sand. And there's a lot of things underground. Yeah. Like fire hydrant. Power cables. Oh, yeah. All of that. They are on the ground. You don't see wires flying around in the city. There are no cables out there. I believe there's no mistake in life. Mm -hmm. Every process is a learning course. And as you guys already know, we are in Nigeria looking at some properties. You know, a lot of you guys in the diaspora want to invest on, on the continent, but sometimes are scared or don't know what to do, you know, because of people have experienced come and whatnot. So I've partnered with Social Global and uh, we decided to come to Nigeria to show you guys some property. So we are in one of their apartment properties. It's all 22 floors actually. And it's pretty beautiful. Uh, I'm here one of their, uh, you know, representatives to tell us more about the property. Uh, so without further ado, Welcome on the show. Thank you very much. And uh, people are watching you. What's your name? Uh, okay, so my name is Selina Biam, mm -hmm. and I'm a team lead with Ackland Properties and Investment Company, a subsidiary of Ackland Group. So as a group, we're 360, uh, we'll call ourselves a full-fledged uh, real estate uh, company where we do uh, construction. Of course, we have um, investment opportunities and then we also do property management. Okay. And in our client, I, I'm a salesperson, a very happy one at that. Uh, it's been an interesting journey being able to meet the needs of, you know, helping families, helping people make the right investment opportunities, getting uh, their desired returns on invest investments and, you know, just guiding them right such that they're not beating in the industry. Okay, so guys, we are here with the head of operation at Ackland, uh, the company. I mean, I have a few questions or even questions that investors might, might have, but before we get into that, briefly introduce yourself to the people watching. Uh, who are you, your name and, and stuff like that. Okay. My name is Edith Omana Otegbeye. I work with Ackland Properties and Investments Company Limited mm -hmm. as the head of operations and, uh, just, uh, in a short, mm -hmm. Uh, wrap of my job is to ensure that the sales and client service department of this subsidiary, mm -hmm. you know, works properly. The engine is old properly and everybody knows their workflow mm -hmm. and that's majorly what so for the sales mm -hmm. team, they are, they are ensure that money is money comes in, of course, right. for a money making company, right. um, Revenues generated from time to time, mm -hmm. uh, so that construction on site, you know, moves smoothly. As a and then for the client service team, because we are big on client relationship, we ensure that they manage all our clients, mm -hmm. all our investors, you know, end to end, mm -hmm. uh, from updating them on newsletters mm -hmm. to ensuring that um, their portfolio is properly managed, mm -hmm. to ensuring also that our clients in diaspora are not left out on any new communication. See. So the all the clients are kept abreast mm -hmm. from time to time on new communications and that's uh, impressive on their investments. So what what was uh, some of the people the experiences they've had that left bitter taste in their mouth? What was their experience? Well, uh so I'm going to be answering this question based on the feedback we've gotten from clients. Not necessarily clients that have bought with us. Because for us as a company we're big on integrity. We pride to say we've had no history of any abandoned project. None of our clients have been beaten working with us. Instead, we've had clients who have trusted the process and uh, because of their experiences with other developers, <coughs> sorry, they can tell the difference. So going by that, I would say uh, a lot of uh, prospects in the diaspora have truly been beaten. Unfortunately, uh, there are people who just want to be developers, but uh, they're not certified. They do not know the processes. 
And for them, it's all about money. Mm -hmm. But for Auckland, it's not just about money. It's about meeting needs. Mm -hmm. It's about helping families, helping individuals make the right decisions and um, making the right investments opportunities. Yeah. So we provide that. And uh, for clients that have been beaten, we try to encourage them, you know, to trust the system, but not just trust because we're telling you to trust, but because we have things to show for it. First and foremost, we have a slogan that says, do it once, mm -hmm. do it right mm. with Ackland. So for us, we do it once and we do it right. We work with our, a construction team with over 150 years mm. experience in construction from the Middle East. Mm -hmm. And so we're big on integrity. Our quality is top notch. We use the best of uh, uh, materials to build. And then even our processes are very seamless. Mm -hmm. For clients, we have a lot of clients in the diaspora, by the way. And even though you're not able to come in to, you know, check on the project every time, we have a practice where we communicate through newsletters. We send you newsletters quarterly. Like progress. Yes. So it gives you pictures and videos and, you know, write up updates on what the project is doing at the time, how it's going. And it just feels so real, like you're here already. Mm -hmm. And then we're big on, uh, you know, sending in people. And you think you, you don't trust what the newsletter says. I mean, you can always come in and send anyone to check. And the beautiful thing about us is whenever you come to any of our sites, you always meet people there. Mm -hmm. You always meet workers on ground. You always have someone attend to you. So these are some of the things that differentiate us from, you know, other developers. We have mm -hmm. trust, we have integrity to show for it. And that has helped us. How long have you been doing this business, even in real estate? I've been in real estate for um, this year. I'll be nine years in real estate. Nine years. Wow. Yes. Uh, so um, I have a, a background in accounting. Mm -hmm. I started off, I really did a lot of interviews yeah. to get into the big fours and, you know, I really wanted to do accounts. I wanted to work with the banks, banks. and all of that. But I got into real estate through um, um, my boss yeah. and um, she, you know, told me, just come, <laughs> leave this yeah. accounting yeah. that you are doing and uh, let's do real estate. Mm. And then she um, was my mentor That's and uh, still my mentor. I uh, started learning real estate and it became interesting. Mm. I saw a different aspect to real estate. It's not just the money-making profession. Mm -hmm. It's um, a profession that puts smiles on people's faces. See, yeah. So uh, we are meeting needs. Mm -hmm. uh, housing is a basic human need. Right. So we're providing shelter. Exactly. So for um, it really interested me and I got excited about it and I've been doing that. How long have I been at Land, I've been in business so far, serving at the Ashburn market or even the real estate market? Okay, so in the real estate market, uh, we're 10 years. We, we turned 10 years last year. Okay. So of course this year will be 11 years mm -hmm. in business. Yes, Ackland was uh, incorporated in 2013 mm -hmm. and moved fully into construction. Yes. and. Um, for us, we've dealt with um, prospects from all around, both Nigerians, both Nigerians in diaspora and even foreigners. Mm. So it's been a good journey. We've, we've delivered a couple of homes, over 300 units oh, wow. to clients across, you know, continents, across countries. Both of your story that I've heard so far is very, I think, inspiring for even young women watching. Yeah. What would you say to, I mean, that point in your life where you wanted to do accounting, but you had a mentor who told you that lesson, why don't you just come this way mm -hmm. into the real estate? If someone or a young lady is there, what would you say to that, um, you know, person? I would say, um, real estate is a profession. Mm -hmm. First of all, mm -hmm. um, is not a means to an end. Mm -hmm. And, um, for young professionals, the females that want to come into real estate, uh, they have to carve a niche for themselves. Mm -hmm. um, why I said so is because there's this misconception about marketers yeah. Yeah. and real estate professionals, especially the female. Yeah. Um, it's always, uh, our profession is always misconstrued. Um, people think it's for something else other than what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, but as a young lady coming into the space, the mind has to be clear. Mm -hmm. The focus has to be right. Mm -hmm. And they have to understand that it's a profession mm -hmm. and you are here to meet the needs mm -hmm. of both individuals and families. I see. Let it become a passion. Mm. That way you enjoy what you're doing, first of all, because real estate can get frustrating. Very true. Because you have to meet needs, mm -hmm. targets and all of that. So 
if it's a passion, mm -hmm. then you enjoy the it job. Easier, uh, it becomes easier. So you just flow. Mm -hmm. You just for every time you you um, meet the need of an individual right. or a family, yeah. you get a house for them, you get shelter for them. You are fulfilled. Yeah. Uh, because okay. the feedback they give you, oh, I'm happy you made me buy this. Mm -hmm. I'm happy you made me, you know, look into mm -hmm. this investment. Mm -hmm. So you're meeting a lot of needs. And mm -hmm. for me, it's very fulfilling. And that's I like what that. I would like the young professionals to have in mind. When I like that. You would say it's been worth it for nine years. It's been extremely worth it. And yes. I, I can't do any other thing. <laughs> <laughs> but normally, like, people like us are looking at the short term, not looking at, okay, 30 years, how is it going to look like for me? For investors who are they might want to buy, but they're not seeing the vision that far. What would you say? You said um, generational wealth. What would you say that would almost be like, wait a minute, they would give it a red thing? One thing for investors is that they want to have good returns on their investments. Okay. And so for Ackland, while we do off plan, we also uh, look at it from the aspect of at what point are you coming in? Mm -hmm. As a company, our prices are the best in the city. Mm. They are the most friendly and uh, very accommodating. We have good payment structures that help, you know, everyone who wants to come in to come in, you know, on a soft landing. For for clients who are looking at, you know, the term, the timeline, we have projects within um, 30 months to 42 months, you know, at most four years. And we have always, you know, delivered in time. So when you come in as an investor, I mean, you look at Dubai, people go into yeah. Dubai and buy properties and wait. Yeah. They wait out the time because of all of the processes that are put into the development. Right. We don't rush in and rush out of projects. We take our time, we communicate, and we go through the process as it should be. Well, I mean, okay. obviously there's challenges. What would you say are, are the three most, I mean, greatest hurdles you had to go through to get to where you are now? In okay, first of all, I would say... Um, there's no profession without challenges yeah. uh, right from when i was you know struggling to get into the accounting space there was a lot of challenge for me because i went for aptitude tests i went for interviews i went for all of that mm -hmm. but you know um i believe there's no mistake in life mm -hmm. every process is a learning course yeah. uh, so those were some of my challenges and then in the industry the challenges is that for sales, sales yeah. is a roller coaster. Yeah. So you are you are meeting needs every other time. So you you from when you are requested to mm -hmm. um oh I need a property and then you're checking around for what you can get for the client. You need the specific need of the client. Most times it's challenging. Mm -hmm. So also working with a company, you have targets. So it's also challenging. Uh, but you have to keep a positive mind all mm -hmm. the time. And like I said before, if it's a passion, mm -hmm. uh, then you won't you won't see it as a challenge. You would see it as, you know, um, a process to go through. A process yeah. to go through to ensure that my client is happy. Exactly. So the end goal is that the client is happy, and that's always the focus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We also have less than three percent of refund cases. We don't get wow. to have refund. Oh, well, let me have my money back. No. Mm -hmm. Instead, we have a lot of rebuys okay. for projects that we have delivered. Mm -hmm. We have clients saying, you know what? I've gotten my return on this project. Please move it on to your next right. project. Mm -hmm. And we have families, individuals that have gone through this process over and over. We call them serial investors. Yeah. So they have gone as far as trusting the process to invest this way. Mm -hmm. So I'd encourage um, families and individuals who who want to come in that it's the best time. Mm -hmm. The time when you come in is very important, especially when you're looking at return on investment. Mm -hmm. You have not maxed your ROI. Mm -hmm when you come in at a time like this, when the project is still under mm. construction. And also you're looking at buying quality. Mm. And I mean, you being a woman and doing this, is there any specific thing that you feel like the men necessarily didn't go through, but you went through as a woman in this business? Yes, mm. of course. Um, you know, a, a man that is a marketer, it's very direct. Mm. You know, this man is a marketer. Yeah. Uh, people, it's, it's easier to the ears mm. than when a woman is a marketer. So, um, I actually try to understand the misconception. Uh, it's getting better, but before now, marketers were seen, female marketers were seen with certain, you know, mm -hmm. notion mm -hmm. uh, because they just felt you have a target, so you might yeah. do anything just to win a just client. To win a client. Uh, but because it's a profession for us, uh, I believe that when you have a niche for yourself and become a professional in the mm -hmm. space, 
uh, then you begin to pass through, you begin to just cut out all of those orders and mm. people see you differently. Yeah. And when you meet the need of clients, they also see you differently and see the value that you bring to the table. Mm -hmm. So, will you give me a scenario where a, a client will felt like they couldn't pay by after breaking down or giving them a payment plan, they were able to? Yes, I've had it. a lot of scenarios. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of salary earners on our project, mm -hmm. a lot of our projects. We have guys in the oil space who earn monthly salary. Mm -hmm. Most times we have a flexible payment plan where you pay 30% initial That's deposit. It. So I break down the 30% for them, and then you spread your 70% over the construction period. Mm -hmm. So if you are building a tower, usually three to four years. Mm -hmm. uh, so once that money is broken down into um, monthly payments, you realize that every month, what the figure is, is it actually yeah. something that you can really, really relate mm -hmm. with. Um, it, the bulk sum that you have to put down is most times at 30%. Mm -hmm. And once it's broken down, you see that it's not as high as you think. It's not so scary anymore. It's not scary anymore. Before I let you go, though, how easy is it for someone not a Nigerian to buy a property here in Nigeria? Okay, it's actually, the process is actually very easy mm. um, outside the tax. First of all, you're buying in the city of Eco Atlantic. It's a free trade zone. Mm -hmm. You are not taxed on your property mm -hmm. in the city. But the process is very easy. You fill us um, a KYC mm -hmm. because we have other foreigners, foreigners okay. that are bought into our project. Mm -hmm. So you just fill us a KYC. Mm -hmm. um, we send you the pro process is pretty, this almost the same okay. outside the tax. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how they are taxed in their country. I know that for, for some countries, once you buy property outside um, the country, they tax your property. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we don't tax your property here. Okay. Yes, especially in the city of Eco Atlantic. I see. I like that. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I would like to see the, I um, mean, the construction going on, like you mentioned. So, guys, we're going to take a look at how beautiful this apartment uh, look like. <laughs> Welcome Thank to you. one of our apartments, the show flat in ANA Tower. Mm -hmm. uh, like I mentioned previously, this is a 170 square meter okay. apartment and it's quite fit. That's about 1,800 square feet. Yes. So this is a three bedroom. Okay. Uh, here we have the sitting room. You can see how beautifully designed it is. What I would say about the interior, thank you very much, is that it is really teen mm. to, uh, you know, each client so if you like it this way i mean beautiful and fine but if you have some other ideas for your interior decoration perfectly but this just tells you how well you know your furniture your properties can fit in so this is the dining area you can see that yes. it's six theater dining and it comfortably sits with a lot of space around it uh, this is the sitting room okay. and uh I'll take us to the balcony where you get to see the, the view of the ocean. And I like the painting over there. Thank you. Very nice. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yes. So this is a very lovely view. As you can see, you've got yes. the At Atlantic Ocean. Wow. You can see a lot of ships waiting yeah. for clearing. That way is the marina. Wow. And then you can see the city. Yeah. You can see the city's infrastructure. How many months would you say all this window would be fully done? Uh, so for, this for anyone project, curious. Okay. For this particular project, we have just about 20 months mm -hmm. to be done and delivered in terms of handing over the keys. Mm -hmm. You know, that 20 months out, we would have delivered this project. As you can see, the superstructure is done with already. What you're having is just finishing the MEP, the mechanical, electrical and plumbing going on. And you know, the details, just finishing this has to be more details. So yes, in another 20 months, we'll be done with this. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. This is beautiful. I love the Thank view you. here. It's very relaxing. Very. I'm feeling sleepy already. <laughs> <laughs> and the air is fresh. It's yeah. Is it kind of the fresh? Ocean? Of course. Okay, so still in the sitting room. This is the guest uh, toilet. Okay. And then it can move through to the kitchen area. Very sizable. 
can see that a double door free fridge was able to fit in very conveniently. And then you have other. But what equipment do you, what brand do you use though? Well, for brandy, like I said, it's relative. So we don't, our apartment don't come with all of this. And, but of course, if the client says, oh, I want you to put all of these fittings, we would always communicate, uh, you tell us the brand you want, and then all of those communications can come up with an extra charge, and then we do all of the fittings for you. But then it will come with the cabinet, of course, the basic finishing, it will come with that. But all of the specific fittings in terms of the washing machine, the fridge, a microwave, the grill, and all of that would be as a nice. I see the how it is. Yes, of course. It's not going to come that way. Mm -hmm. But like I mentioned, this is a show flat. So this just tells you what is obtainable, what can work within your apartment space. You have the liberty to do as you please in terms of your interior space, as long as it does not affect the superstructure. Very yeah. good. That makes sense. All right, it looks beautiful though. I like the white touch of the room. Yeah. I'm a white guy. I always wear white t shirts. <laughs> yeah. I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> so I told you there's a three bedroom. Yes. So this is one room. Hey, yeah. And this is the toilet. You can see the quality. Mm -hmm. The tiles that we use. Yes. And all of this might be covered with, you know, beautiful fittings, the tiling, top notch. For the ceiling, yeah. we don't use a POP. A, a POP. Yeah. This is called a gypsum board. Gypsum board. Yes. Also, I'm sure you can see that you're not seeing the water heater and all of that. They're all embedded in the ceiling. Oh. You can see that it looks neater. Right. It's beautiful. I like the design on the, you know, that bed. Yeah. So, I mean, you, when you buy your apartment, you can make it this way. Or you tell us and we can do this for Nigeria. We say chicken one. Small one. Small one. <laughs> that, that, yeah. The wardrobe. Yes. Yeah. Sizable. As much as a boutique apartment, everything fits in perfectly. Yeah. Very perfectly. Very sizable. This is another room, the second room. It mirrors where we're coming from, the second room. Okay. Yes. So it's just a different design, but the same. Yeah, just the, the bed. But I mean, obviously, it's, it's based on the... the it's what it's close to whatever you want to customize is fine, yes. So here we are. Okay. And beautifully, the master bedroom also has a balcony. Oh, and it has the same view from the living room. Yes. That's amazing. So you can literally be chilling there. Of course. <laughs> of course. Quite spacious as well. Your wardrobe can fit in perfect. It's almost a walk-in. Yes, like a walk-in through there, yes. It's very wide and tall. A washroom. Two people can fit in here. Two lovely couples can fit in here. They have the rain, the rain sharp. And yes. And this, is it the one that, oh yes. Yeah. It turns on. But obviously, based on your own specific case. Yeah. Yes, it's based on that. The master writer will come with this. It will? Okay. It will come with it. Amazing. Link in the description if you're interested. Now, it looks good. For me, it looks good. I'm a minimalist kind of guy. Uh, and it makes more sense, I mean, if you want to. How, how are they invested? Do they buy to live in or your most clients? What, what are they? So, um, people buy in for various reasons, right? You may just want to take it as an investment where you come in at a, well, you know, an entry point, you flip. So you sell off when it's completed. You may also want to send it to your family home. Some people buy for as a retirement home, where after, you know, all the hassle of work and all of that, they just retire back here. While some even buy it as an inheritance for their children. Yes, so it just depends on the client. What is your, so when we want to sell, we always ask, what are you buying this for? So like, this question so it helps guide you on the kind of investment that you should take. Like I mentioned, we have multiple projects. Right. So if you're buying for investments, we can guide you. If you're buying for, you know, family use, we can guide you. So all of this depends on the client. I'm here with one of the senior sales and get it, a second tip at the Ackland. Yes. Please. Now, you, you told me that you want to explain to me the quality you guys use in building. Um, 
I'm interested. Some people are quite worried. I mean, this location is quite close to the ocean. Mm -hmm. And therefore, what kind of technology are you guys using that will ensure that this lasts for like a long period of time? Okay, excellent. Um, first, let me say welcome to Atlan Experience Thank you. Center. One of the things we've learned in the course of our business is that when investors give their money to developers, yeah. what they get basically is a finished property. Product, yeah. They don't get to understand the processes yeah. that are going through that finished product. Mm -hmm. And that might not give them an understanding into how the quality of the building is. So we try to give our clients and our partners the opportunity to see how we do our work. I think the basic things mm -hmm. that an investor should understand and let them see that. And that's why we curated this experience center. Mm -hmm. We start from our block work process here. Okay. We actually have six processes for our block works. Mm -hmm. And then we start from the lane of the blocks itself. Okay. These are the type of blocks that we use here. These are the highest grades of blocks. This is grade 45, the best in town okay. that we use for our builders. Because if there's anything we pay attention to at that land, that's the quality and the finesse of our work. We're really, really particular about the sustainability of each of our projects. If you notice, it's a it's like white KL because it's more cement okay. than sand. So this is very strong sure. quality blocks that we use for our block works. So I see some wire men. Yes. I'm gonna explain that to you. Okay. This part is the column. We understand that the strength of every building lies in the column. So we take a lot of a pleasure in strengthening our columns effectively. Yeah. So what we do is this, when our columns are plastered, okay, we apply this wire mesh. And what does this do? It helps to strengthen the plaster mm. on the columns, such that it, it does not allow for cracks okay. of any type on mm. the column, because we don't want cracks after we have plaster. So this adds further strength to our columns. You will notice some rough yeah. patches on this block. Yeah. What we call this is tyrolene. Tyrolene. Tyrolene, yes, it's a concrete mixture okay. that we sprinkle on our block works. And what this does basically are two major things. It helps to hold our plaster effectively. Okay. And it also helps to avoid cracks on the block itself. Itself, okay. And you can also see the smoothness yeah. of the plaster. And if you notice, it's a zigzag format. Yeah, it's why? deliberate. The reason why we do it in zigzag format is because if you have to plaster this part mm -hmm. now, all you just need to do is to lock it in with another one to mm -hmm. these areas. And this does not give you any kind of crack whatsoever. And after the plastering here, we come to the screeding. Okay, screeding. This is screeding. Okay. We have two layers of screeding here. You can see. Yeah. This is screeding. Very smooth. Some people actually take it for painting, mm. but it's not actually. I thought I was painted. <laughs> it's not a painted. So this is screeding. Okay. Two layers painted here. I mean screeded rather. Then after that, we come to the painting. To the painting itself. So in the first layer painting is here, and at this point, um, as a client you are free to change your colors to whatever suits you or your immediate family. Something that gives you comfort at all times and makes your home even more beautiful. Yeah. So these are the step levels here to which we take to ensure that our block works are standard, global standard. I say this, so this is how we do it here in Auckland. That's so impressive. After that, I'd like you to see our, our ceiling work. Mm -hmm. We use a drop down ceiling. This is a gypsum board. Okay. And we use a drop down deliberately. It's not POP. Man. No, we don't use POP because um, after a while, POP gets weak and it falls off. And we don't want any kind of accidents. We need any of our towers. So instead of um, having POP and somewhere in our minds, we are thinking that, oh, this could just drop off yeah. while somebody is sleeping. We have to just use something stronger and better, which is the gypsum board. And the reason why it's drop, drop down is because yeah. Above it, mm -hmm. there are some materials, high pressure pipes for water and cables okay. that we put above the ceiling because we don't want anything to alter the aesthetics of the apartments. And I realized that even the washrooms, you use the same years and I've said the heating system, everything. If you notice also the water heater yeah. is embedded inside the, yeah. and that's the essence of this mm. access panel here. Right. Yeah. It gives space for our water heater to stay there. there and also if there's going to be need for any maintenance above the ceiling yeah. instead of having to break any part of the ceiling open you just open up the access panel go into the ceiling do what you have to do 
you come out and you close it back mm -hmm. and you still keep your facade very beautiful and intact. Yeah, in basic, that means this has to be very strong. Very, very strong. Very strong. Very strong. And also, to my right here, you can see our firefighting equipment. All our apartments mm -hmm. come with the firefighting equipment. Our water sprinklers, our smoke detectors are there. And this is automatic. So as soon as if there is heat beyond the regular um, degree, this triggers itself automatically to take out any kind of fire within the apartment or even in common areas in the tower. And also just to let you know, in all our towers, yeah. every single door that we are installing to each apartment, there are two hours fire rated doors. Meaning that if there's fire outside your apartment, yeah. for the next two hours, your apartment is secured from every kind of fire. Oh, wow. And we are very, very certain that within those two hours, all our firefighting equipments have taken effect. And also within our environment, we have water hydrants, mm. all in close proximity yeah. to all our properties in the Quadratic here. So we can take water, even if there is need for extra reinforcement to take out fire. Mm. So the water hydrants are there. However, in all our apartments and common areas here, we have our firefighting equipment just to keep everybody safe within the tower. So that's just a little bit about our ceiling work also. And now to the floor work itself, we actually have about um, four processes for this. Yeah. We have the concrete floor itself, mm -hmm. we have this black layer, mm -hmm. we have the plaster, and we have the tiles. Wow. So this is the concrete floor itself, which is the ground level yeah. proper. This black layer you're looking at here is a water sealant. Okay, like felt or something like that? Something close to felt. Okay. To seal every apartment in all of our towers. Mm. And once this is put in place, what we do usually mm -hmm. as our standard yeah. is to flush that apartment with water. To test it. For about 10 to 14 days. Okay. To test that water is not dripping from a higher floor to a lower apartment. So once we understand that water is not dripping from a higher apartment to a lower one, and we are fighting those 14 days, mm -hmm. we take out the water. Wow. I was sure of that then we can now put the mm -hmm. plaster on the floor. That means before, you can have a whole <laughs> Before actually installing yeah. our tiles. Mm -hmm. And for the record, I need to let you know that these are the highest grade of porcelain tiles. It's a high quality tile. I see it's very thick. Very, very thick mm -hmm. and very, very quality. Mm -hmm. So those, these are the kind of things we do to ensure that we give our clients the best in terms of real estate and luxury development and like to suit their investment. So that's just a little bit about um, our work, block work the process, process that goes into the ceiling work and the floor work process. Unlike them. That's impressive. Wow. I want to see the out out, out Oh sure. Out the way. I will need to kit you up a little bit before we actually go into mm -hmm. the tower itself. So I'll get your helmets, your sure. headgears and all that. Then that's the worst. We can't just to be safe. It was a short thing. Actually, safety is very, very, very important. <laughs> I think fashion will get to a point where people will start wearing. Just <laughs> the Atlantic City itself is very self-sustaining, and what I mean by that is every infrastructure you need within this city is here. Talking about the roads, the drainages, power generation, security, and all that. And one of the things that um, gives people a little bit of concern about the Atlantic when they hear about it, oh, is that it's so close to the Atlantic Ocean that, ah, hope that yeah. water will not overflow its banks. No, the water cannot overflow its bank because the Great Wall of Lagos, yeah. which is about 9.5 kilometers and more than 40 meters deep into the ground, is already in place. And that's um, what I did. It will survive and withstand every type of. For more than 1,000, it's been designed to hold for at least 1,000 years. And that is the concept of the Great Wall of Lagos. So, any, everybody who is probably having an investment here can be certain that their investment are safe and transgenerational. So, they have no worries, no fears. They would live here comfortably and peacefully, and they can hand it over to coming generations. I like so, that's that about the Quadlantic. And in terms of security around here, it's top notch. You yeah. can't just buy into this city even at this developmental stage. There's a lot of access control, even right now. And you can be sure that by the time the city develops more than this, it's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of restriction before you can actually have access into this place. And I will also let you know that all our projects in this city, they are 24 hours fully concierge 
our project. And that's so, what yeah. yeah, people cannot just budge it to you. Anybody who has to come see you has to be granted access with your permission before they can, they can even get access to you. Right. Meaning that if you want if you if you if you want to have your privacy, you can have it as you want and nobody has that opportunity to budge into you just like anywhere outside this city. Yes. So you can make your um, request maybe for food, for laundry, for all of that. Because right in this tower, we have it's a floor yeah. that is for services. The gym, the swimming areas, the restaurant, the sauna, the coffee shop, children's play area, all of that. And that's why it's a purely family residence. We want every family to be very, very comfortable when they are finished tower. And like I mentioned earlier too, it's going to be on 27 floors. Where we are currently yeah. is the ground, ground floor. There is a basement, a basement. beneath us here for car parking. And also, how many basement? How many level? Uh, for car parking, yeah. we have five level car parking. Peak below? No, it's just one level below. We have one level below. Okay. However, we have five level Above. car parking. And also our water treatment plant is in the basement and to supply water at high pressure to every apartment within the tower. Oppressive. Pay attention to our quality. Yeah. You the can thick see. walls. Yes. The slabs. You can look at our slabs. Yeah. They are prefabs mm -hmm. from ITME. ITME is the best in the country. I see. So we don't just cast. Mm -hmm. We use prefab uh, slab. What is prefab for people who don't understand? They are, they are prefabricated from ITME. So, so you pick it up and cook Yes. It. So what our engineers do, all of this, each of the slabs that I'm looking at, they are numbered. They are supposed to be in specific locations. So we don't just bring them and dump anywhere. They are made for specific locations in the tower. So once it is made by ITV, what our engineers do is to put them according to the numbers for the location that they are made to be. Because we can't alter anything just for safety reasons. So we are that uh, precise. precise when it comes to uh, our work and all that. We don't do, we, we, we want zero errors. We don't want any kind of error for the safety of every resident within our towers. So you can see the strength in our columns. Yeah. Very strong, very ideal. And these are global standard. They are not, no compromise of any type mm. within any of our projects. So where we are right now, it needs us, it takes us rather car park. into our car park. So for whoever is not parking in the basement, yeah. what they just need to do it's is to drive up this ramp to the car park. And the car park goes higher mm. up to the fourth level. Okay. However, if you include the basement, it makes five levels. Five levels. Right. So from the fifth floor, which is now the sixth level, is where we have so our five, five floors. How many cars will it take in total? Okay. First of all, I'll let you understand that mm -hmm. every apartment here has been catered to in terms of um, car parking and all that. Mini. Each apartment has two car park spaces standard. Okay. However, there's also a 10% contingency okay. for visitors alike, mm -hmm. guests, and probably for those who want extra spaces okay. for extra cars. Okay. So there's a 10% contingency car park spaces. But averagely, each apartment comes with two Team. car park spaces. I see. So you can look around. You can see the road, the ambience, the beauty of the city, yeah. and that's your Atlantic Ocean, right that's above, ship, right ahead. Right you said that's the ship going. Yes, yeah, that's the ship going to a papa to dock. Okay. Yeah. So you can see there are already existing buildings and towers also in the Atlantic City, and the um, security is top notch here. Mm. Our waterways is guided properly okay. by the Navy okay. because it's a major territory huh? for our country. Mm -hmm. So you can't just bust. Because I see a lot of shit. Yeah. I see. They are actually authorized to be there mm. because they are going to the port the at port. Papa okay. to dock. Okay. So any ship you see here, they are actually authorized to be there. If you are not authorized, you can't you can't be here. And on the ground, we have our human uh, security guards. And also there's a media center media. in the Atlantic City that captures details of happenings everywhere just to also be for security. Mm. So if there's a situation, you can be sure that we can get the video recordings, okay. the images and all that, just to ascertain what happened. So everybody coming in here for business or staying here as a home, they're going to be having a very, very good time in the Quadratic City, and especially 
in our Phoenix Tower. I don't like that. So for, for the Phoenix Tower, from now to completion, how many months do you think okay. we're talking about? Averagely, um, the towers we build because of their size and height, average is about four years. Four years. Yeah, about really four years. So we are projecting that um, by 2027, okay. Phoenix Tower should be ready. Okay. For delivery and handover. I like a projecting about that time. What was like. call? So, how many bedrooms do you have that start with? From how many bedrooms? So okay. In Phoenix Tower, on like our A and A, we have one bedroom and three bedrooms. It's a mixture of one bed and three bed that we have right here in Phoenix Tower. Where we are coming from has a two bed, two bed. alongside, but here we have a one bed and a three bed. Mostly when we talk about you know the bedroom sizes people are curious how much money you don't have to say the specific limit but ranges that you know investors or even people interested to move in as a yeah. family should budget or even should you know so for for a one bedroom in phoenix tower here yeah, we're talking averagely about say, 290 000 usd okay and then for a three bedroom we're looking at average about 500 000 usd okay however just like we discussed earlier our payments are very flexible. We have room for flexibility and also we work with our clients' budgets. We we like it when we sit down with our prospective clients. We look at their flow, uh, their income flow. Okay. And we look at what works for them because beyond them just making money for us as a company, we like our clients to be happy. Mm. It's our dream that this place is occupied. We want people to have investment right in here. Right. So we'd rather sit down with you instead of turning our back on you. Yeah. We'll sit down with you, look at your cash flow, look at, okay, what your income can accommodate, and we can help you structure it in such a way that at the end of the day, based on the timeline, you will still be able to achieve that objective of having a property here at Phoenix Town. So even if they don't have the, like, the money uh, up front, they don't have to worry. You don't even need to work yourself up because there's an initial commitment mm -hmm. that you have to put down while we can help you spread your balance over a particular timeline. I see. If you have a story, I mean, normally I encourage a lot of diasporans. You know, I'm at the, you know, I was living in the diaspora after my college education. Yeah. I was still living in the diaspora. Never really thinking of moving back to Africa, Ghana, my country, or even people Nigerians in the diaspora in the UK, US, moving back to, you know, Nigeria, yeah. to invest in properties or even, even to live, right? Yes. Normally people don't want to do that, but I want to encourage more diasporas to move back here. If you do have a message, based on what you've seen so far, based on, based on the development if we notice here in Echo Atlantic City, what would be an advice for a diaspora watching okay. who is contemplating on investing on the continent? Okay. Or in what I'll say to Nigerians and um, non-Nigerians, both home and abroad, is that um, real estate development in Nigeria has taken a new dimension entirely. Mm -hmm. the, the market size of our real estate now in Nigeria is close to about $3 trillion. Mm. And that's really, really massive. And the opportunities are still there mm. for people to invest into real estate and also make good returns for themselves. Mm. So I encourage people, both home and abroad, there's nothing to worry about, there's nothing to fear. Mm -hmm. I know that a lot of people have been uh, been into some rough time with um, some other developers, but not with Ackland. Mm. We have a whole lot of clients abroad both Nigerians and non-Nigerians who are investing mm. in our projects. And we have even a lot of repeat purchases yeah. from our like clients okay. abroad. So this is the place to meet. And especially because our client has got integrity. Mm -hmm. We don't joke with, I can vouch my management has got integrity. Yeah. I can meet my chest to that. Mm. And our quality is top notch. And you know, Eco Atlantic itself is being regarded as the next business hub yeah. for Sub-Saharan Africa. And um, you, we have a lot, a lot of um, companies who have actually made investments into this city. The American embassy is there. We have a lot of uh, international companies that have slots in here already. And gradually, if you notice, it's taking shape. Yeah. Because people, more people are moving in now yes. to commence their development. So we encourage people, even if you still want to live abroad, but have this back at home. You know, people, a lot of people that have in here, some will say, oh, I'm going to use for Airbnb, I'm going to use for short lets. Some are even going to tell you, I'm going to just rent it out on an annual basis. Yeah. And this becomes a money-making make, make, okay. money venture for the owner. Yeah. So you can keep making money and making money. So you mean people over can over. still invest without necessarily having to live in? Yes. Yeah. You know, um, when you, 
Eco Atlantic itself started um, when the ocean was overflowing. There was a time, I think, uh, our current president now was the governor of Lagos State then. Oh, wow. Yeah, so there was an issue of the water flowing down, was almost going into Victoria Island fully and all that. So there had to be a measure of control mm -hmm. to stop that water. So I think the government partnered with um, the Shagoris there to create that great wall of Lagos. You see, to stop that one. Yes. You know, so, you mean push it back? Oh, you know, it's very, very secured right now. So it is the reclaimed land mm. that the water was almost taking over. That's where we are right now. And there's a lot of things underground. Yeah. The fire hydrant. Yeah, the hydrants, the water, I mean, the fire, I mean, power cables, yeah. all of that, they are underground. You don't see wires flying around mm -hmm. in the city. There are no cables out there.